Oh, what a call! He calls all in with 10 high. Outer table action. Malika Razavi versus Jean Fontaine. Or Rafiki, as I like to call him. You can see the board is sitting out there. King, 10, 9, ace. I think that was a tray there. Looks like she is facing a bet of 76,000. Not just getting that verified. 76,000 it is. Straighty board. No flushes. Oh, it's getting counted out. That's a call. Fontaine Mux. Doesn't even matter what she has, but she's going to show anyway. Like a boss. Nine. It's a pair of nines, ladies and wow. gentlemen. That is fourth pair. Malika Razavi has been quite impressive. Not the first hero call we've seen her make. And Ryan Reese checks his option with 10 deuce. <coughs> well, Reese is open ended on the flop. Action goes check, check. Board pairs on the turn. I won't be surprised to see Lurzer check here again and look to go for a delayed bluff on the river. Well, Reese At this point, has a lock on this with ten high. <laughs> it's super interesting if Lurzer bets because you would imagine. That pre-flop, he shoves pretty much every queen, every king, every ace. So unless he's trapping with a jack, man, honestly, I know this sounds crazy to say, but Ryan Reese with 10 high might be pretty suspicious of this all in. This would be one of the most insane calls we've ever seen on an EPT final table to call with 10 high. But honestly, I don't think it'd be the craziest one. He might be able to work this out that his opponent's never doing this with an ace high, king high, doesn't have them pre-flop. A lot of the time he's going to have these delayed bluffs. Can he make a wild goal with the 10 deuce? He is definitely thinking about it. Looks like he might only have one more time bank left. Have you ever found yourself in an MTT, Finson, where you've called all in with 10 high and been De right? Definitely not on a final table, not even close. This would be one of the sickest calls ever. But it just doesn't make sense from the six deuce. Oh, what a call! He calls all in with 10 high and will get the double up. What a call. <laughs> Going to defend, and we are going to see a flop. 1.3 million in the middle. Nine, five, three. Did you just say all in? Who just shoved? Grico. Huang checked to him, and Grico shoves. We have seen him make this move once before when he showed ace high on queen nine four. Made Ryan Reese fold middle pair previously. Will Wang make the call here with second pair? It's exactly the same situation. This time, Greco does actually have a piece of the board, but Huang has him out kicked. That was a time bank this, card. He's not folded. This is a big decision. Is Wang, though, be at risk? And of course, we know that Ryan Reese right now has 11 big blinds, something that he's 100% going to be considering. If he makes the call, he's going to be in great shape for the double up. But I think you're right, Finton. The fact 
that Greiko played that hand against Reese exactly the same and showed that it was a bluff will inform this decision. Absolutely. The question is whether he thinks he would do it twice as a bluff. Last time Bank is in there. 30 seconds to make up his mind. So the next countdown is the last. If the clock hits zero now, his hand will be declared dead. You can see it just below the hand graphics. 17 seconds. He calls the call. all in. Showdown. 6 5. Ace 5. Boom. And a 77% chance that Wei Huang doubles up here. Wang is the at risk player, but is currently ahead. Four on the turn. Gives Greiko additional outs. He's got deuces, sixes, and sevens working for him. 11 cards that could hit on the river that would eliminate Huang, but that is a blank, and Huang gets the double up through Greiko. Ryan Reese has ace eight in the big. 260. And he calls, heads up to the flop. Nine, nine, six. Just the one diamond. This is a good board for Katzenberger to continue on. Just because the sheer weight of misses in a big blind calling range. Ace high on a paired board. Probably not a hand that Ryan Reese will be looking to fold though. His decisions are impacted somewhat by the chip stacks at this point as well. He has the shortest stack at the table. Maybe he feels like if he calls on the flop, he might have to face further aggression. It looks like he's decided his ace high is just too strong to let go at this point in the hand. 180,000 apiece. Three of clubs on the turn. See if Katzenberger wants to really put the pressure on Ryan Reese, really put him in the cage, fire a second or a third barrel. He doesn't. He's checking behind to a five of Diamonds River. So nobody has anything. Reese still ahead with ace high, checks a third time. Representing some showdown value with a check if he got here with a hand like 10 7 or 10 8 that called the flop with the gut shot straight draw, he's almost certainly going to have to bluff it now. So by checking, he's saying that he has some sort of marginal showdown value. He may even look for value with a six. So he's saying that he has like a king high or an ace high. Maybe Katzenberger is going to try and move him off of it. And that's what we're seeing here. Katzenberger betting the jack four of diamonds. Roughly one third pot, 360,000 into 1 million and 60,000. It's a little bit difficult for Ryan Reese here. Some players, if they stop bluffing on the turn, they don't often start up again. Counting out chips, though. He may expect Katzenberger to fire all of his bluffs on the turn. So when Katzenberger checks back, maybe he has a little bit of something that wants to show down and is now value betting it at the river. Can he find the call with ace high? Yes, he can. He heroes and wins the pot. Ryan Reese no longer the shortest stack at the table. Huang small blind with the king and the 10. Of course, Greiko waiting to pounce behind him. How much is Not that much. 
He's got 12 chips. Flicks it in. <laughs> yeah. The queen deuce yeah. off. Poor guy. Four, six, seven, two hearts. Everybody misses. Probably not a board that Loza wants to do too much continuation betting on. Indeed, we see this one go check, check. Actually, believe it or not, this is a pretty reasonable spot for Greiko to bluff. He has most of the sixes, most of the straights, more so than anybody else, but his queen deuce is as disinterested as he seems to be. There it is. There's the bluff. And this, this is going to work. This should work, yeah. Uh, and actually, a pretty reasonable decision because he has more of the fives as well, calling in the big blind. He's got the Huang fives, he's the got small. the fours, he's got the sixes, he's got the sevens. Probably be more suited hands as well because he'll call here with like Jack Deuce of Hearts. Wang won't in the small blind. So he definitely has the better hands in his range than his opponent. Also, that I would say there's close to 0% that Wang is going to do anything but fold King High, given how he's been playing. But a time bank card's going in the middle. I could be wrong. This would be a fantastic hero call if he could make it. I like the hero raise all in. Just the call. Wow. wow. Absolutely oh. brutal. He's going to be so tilted. Nothing is going Greco's way right now. King High. Ouch.